Registered Phenomena Code. RPC-434. Designation. It's just Tony. Object Class. Beta Orange. Hazard Types. Sapient Hazard, Organic Hazard, Extradimensional Hazard. Containment Protocols. RPC-434-Alpha resides within a standard anomalous containment chamber. Non-anomalous dietary requirements and regular entertainment are to be provided daily. Under no circumstances are non-designated personnel to make physical contact with RPC-434 during the activation of its anomalous properties. Description RPC-434 is a human male referred to by the surname Tony. While RPC-434 bears no noteworthy physical features, multiple accounts of multi-universal travel has led to the conclusion that RPC-434 may possibly be a universal constant. Instances of RPC-434 have been found throughout a majority of alternate universes traversed by the Authority, located in areas that would be biologically unfeasible for a non-anomalous human being. Instances of RPC-434 each remain located at a fixed point in space and cannot be moved or injured by regular means. See Addendum 1. Note. Location examples include floating in deep space, other locations with no breathable atmosphere, and on one occasion, a collapsing star. Iterations of RPC-434 share the same mentality and physiological state despite any universal differences. In exception to RPC-434-alpha, all instances of RPC-434 behave in a simple-minded and straightforward fashion, simply remaining still, smiling when in the presence of other living beings, and answering any questions posed to them with iterations of yes, no, or the phrase, Hi, it's me, Tony. Residences of alternate universes appear accustomed to the presence of RPC-434, paying the respected instance no heed, often casually claiming RPC-434 to be just a universal constant. RPC-434-Alpha is the instance of RPC-434 residing in the primary universe. Unlike other instances, RPC-434-Alpha is mentally sound and has no difficulties conversing with others. RPC-434-Alpha's demeanor is usually mundane and shares no real concerns towards its anomalous nature or confinement. No records of RPC-434-Alpha exist. And when questioned, RPC-434-Alpha claims to have existed indefinitely, believing itself to be a universal nexus. RPC-434-Alpha is capable of perceiving the surroundings of another single instance of RPC-434 at a time. While doing so, RPC-434-Alpha will become temporarily aware of all memories and knowledge of the respected instance while keeping its own. However, RPC-434-Alpha becomes incapable of perceiving its own direct surroundings while doing this. Any life form that makes physical contact with RPC-434-Alpha while it is in this state will be immediately transported to the universe RPC-434-Alpha is currently perceiving, and may return by making contact with the universe's instance of RPC-434. Almost all instances of RPC-434, however, are apparently randomly placed throughout universes, leading to many simply existing in uncharted areas of space, often resulting in the loss of test subjects. RPC-434-Alpha describes the use of its anomalous properties as being harmless to itself, except when perceiving alternate universes which follow heavily alternate laws of nature, which it describes as being extremely disorienting. Addendum 1 RPC-434-Alpha does not receive any harm from injuries done to it or natural biological phenomena. It has been discovered that any damage will instead be transferred to an alternate instance of RPC-434. Upon receiving a lethal amount of damage, the instance of RPC-434 and its respected universe will become inaccessible by any means, and any equipment used for detecting alternate universes will show the respected universe to not exist. RPC-434-Alpha will become incapable of switching to the viewpoint of the instance or access its memories. Additionally, recent biological analysis of RPC-434-Alpha has shown its aging process to be extraordinarily slow rather than non-existent altogether. It is unknown what will occur when RPC-434 inevitably expires.